if their team can just swap around like this uh, on specific heroes, if, if they find the need to do it, ah, oh, universe, this is really, really bad. If this happens, he can't let this happen. He can't be let this happen. Head is down, Universe, he's trapped up here with a whole bunch of mango. Oh, like the Tombstone, yeah, they're going Amushi again. But Nets got defensive disruption if they want it, but instead they go aggressive. Last Rack Array will connect on PPD, and they'll inflict some decent damage on him and just force him back off the lane, while Samael puts on the flame gun. Amushi, he's burning first out! In fact, he'll die here, Samael will take the first blood. Nets looking for the revenge with the attack from the tower, he's gonna have enough. But the minimum move speed. Uh, so Net getting a fast level 6. Could, could be very uh, important. They're going here. on Smell. Mushi, oh, like that is Tiger, that's a big one. He's way too early. PPD's around the corner as well. And Mushi, he's trying to stand his ground here. He knows he's dead. And they might actually be losing net as well. EG, this is the dream right now. If Smell can pick up two kills. And in fact, the last one goes to Tide Hunter. Uh, having the anchor smash that the panel that's talked easy about. Stealing. Where's, the t where's the TP support going to come in? Fear is up here as well. They'll drop down the tombstone in Ohio. Just gonna sharp block it in. So it's easy for to stand here. They get rid of the tombstone nice and quickly. That's fear. Gonna get Walrus punched up and he'll lose his life. But if they don't lose RTZ, it's fine. But Universe, he's going up. He's got Ravage available. DJ Mush is trying to get back out of here. The Tuscal Snowball will come through. Tagging up three. Ohio sacrifices himself. Understanding that uh, rotation was just too much to deal with. Arteezy gets the last hit, Matt, however, because Fear and Universe are rotating up. So on bottom lane, they got the opportunity to get a good line strike array. And in fact, they just focus on Fear. The Ravage will go off, but Undying is already down for the count. Mushy, he didn't actually have to use his, line, his, uh, his Laguna Blade. So that first damage is still available. They're rotating more heroes down, but Arteezy is arriving. Mushy getting gushed up. They need to control them, and the SD doing that. But it means the line strike array won't be able to connect in Ohio. Cops one raise. There's still that max range one as well. And this snowball, it only for a long was the inevitable. Ohio will end up going down, and Universe picks up a double kill in this lane. Communication between Net and Mushi, just a quick raise after that will do the work. And here comes Arteezy. Wind her up and let it go. Mushi, yeah, lose the half of his line from the rec room, and then a double, not even a double, just a one raise. And the attacks from Arteezy, they just hit so hard into Net. Tusker is forced to snowball himself in. They actually lock up Arteezy. They don't have enough damage. The poison is sticking away, but now the spirits jump forward from Smell, and that's only keeping him push game then. Like you look towards the Wisp relocate with the yes. with an Agonim's Tiny, you you take out the tier one towns. Is that gonna oh, be enough? Samel. Yeah, this could be a big one. Samel Lacuna Blade. That's a quick pick. The relocate came in <laughs> from DJ and Black. But this might actually put them in more trouble because they're teasing on bottom lane. He's gonna wind up the Requiem. No, he's waiting for them all. As the relocate is only gonna be DJ now RTZ. Boom! Okay, Ethereal Bean, be no more. Got to kill off the uh, Wisp. Bottom lane, Samal, jumping onto that Lina. Defensive yield set up from Mushi, gets tricky space, but still no BKB. And with a curse and the Ravage and the Spirits forward, Fnatic are gonna lose big here. Oh, he denied Mushi? What? <laughs> Wait, really? That's pretty sick. <laughs> Wait, oh, it's a bug, right? He was Winter's Cursed? I believe so. Yeah, that, that... With already RTD having the extra demon edge, uh, Universe getting very aggressive looking forward, but he can. He's got Shiva's gun, M neck, and four staff, and Ravage. Like, you want confidence as a Tide Hunter? That's basically it right there. Net's trying to keep them back out with Poison Spam, but Arteezy, the Snowball, the Relocate's coming back in again. Can they kill Artur off in time with the Ravage? Hit so hard with the Wrecking themselves. Mushy just evaporates. There's no flyback available for him, and they can just stand their ground here. EG, B into him. Black's BKB does not protect him enough. He's TPing out so close because he realized the Relocate wouldn't actually save him. He was in tech, he could have been tethered up. He'll end up dying, and that should be the game right there. Fnatic have lost their three cores. There's no real split push working for them. The bottom ranks will go. The mid ranks already left them before. And the top is all that remains for EG. They don't That's even we need to go there. Yeah, they're just going straight for the GG push. That's it. Fnatic. There's just nothing more they can do. And they call the GG. It will be a game three for our first series here on the mainstream. EG versus Fnatic. And EG, they played a very calm. Like for me, a lot of it comes back to the Tight Hunter, where you didn't see many great ravages this game. The last one was very good from Universe, hit four heroes, was in the right place at the right time. It's just Fnatic couldn't play their lineup the way they're used to, because this tiny, uh, the, the presence.